step will be performed today by Lori Bannister and her son, Brett. Lori has decided to do a head shave today to raise money for the IWK Health Center. A year ago, Lori's 11-year-old son, Bretton, had his fourth heart surgery at the IWK Health Center, and she thought it was only fitting to do this now as February is heart month. There's a table out at the, uh, in the lobby here at East Link Center, and Lori is taking donations. This is the Guardian Game Ball Delivery, and the ball is delivered by Guardian Carrier, Anea Young. edition of Storm Basketball. I am Brett Poirier live on the call. Pleasure to have you as always for this matinee affair between the Island Storm and St. John Millrats. This one should be a lot of fun. There is a lot on the line for the Island Storm. With a win today and a Halifax loss, that can secure a top spot in the division for the Island. Sammy Zaglinski with a nice save into Evans. Now the Storm three on one. Evans doing the behind the pack. Oh my goodness, that Nick. shocked me. Nick uh, Evans, the big guy, facilitated. And now Zaglinski with From a steal. He's gonna try the three, and that one a little bit short. William. Nick Evans! And Nick Evans with the points that time. Puts his team up by a point. Changing the absolute tone he is such a physical presence but he can score and that's something that a lot of teams underestimate with him Nick Evans nice job splitting through two Nick mill rats defenders he Evans. scores it lifelong mill rat he has so many records on this team I'm gonna get to them later but he really just takes up the entire book him and Crookshank have just been incredible and how about that move incredible Evans. by Nick Evans using the left hand to dominate the rim the Curlin Birdsong inside to Evans. He's going to pump fake. That's a hard foul brought down. Jeremy Williams and Nick Evans, the former teammates, just shake it off. St. John foul number 24, Jeremy Williams grabs his first. That will be the team's second. Nick Evans off the line. That's about as easy of a foul call as you can get right now. Pretty much brought Evans right to the ground while grabbing his arm. The referees aren't going to get off that easy on most of them, though. And a quick look to the Central Division. The Windsor Express on top of the league still at 20 and 9. Right behind them, the Brampton A's have moved up to 16 and 14. So what a job by them to uproot the London Lightning. And they sit at 14 and 14. Maybe the storm needed. Down by 11 now. Here's Mahan, the former storm player, has done an exceptional job in his role with the Millrats since being released from the storm and Nick Evans draws the charge and the storm bench on its feet right now and the St. John foul number 22 Keith Cosper and that'll be his first that'll be the team's fifth to realistically stop him or is there a way to actually stop him or do you just look to slow him down um basically you just look to slow a guy like that down like he's he's a he's a guy that's been in the league for years he's a vet um he's a scorer you know um led the league in scoring MVP um similar my goodness what control by Birdsong he was on the way down but he somehow got his mitts on that one and now Zaglinski to Evans Zaglinski, such a facilitator, able to get it to pretty much anywhere on the floor. That makes it a lot easier for a score. Yeah, definitely. With the finger roll, another miss for the Storm. Nick Evans goes up. He scores it finally. The scoring different. Rush dribbling around right now. Eight seconds on the clock. The Storm have nothing going on this possession. And that one raises the rim underneath. Nick Evans scores. scores that one. Nick Evans with the tip in. 
starters right now early on here in the fourth quarter. So you have to wonder if minutes will become a bit of a concern issue for this Storm team. Speaking to Coach Slurno before the game, he said he wouldn't worry about tomorrow's game today, but that might change.